Hello everyone, welcome back to the YouTube channel Programming Knowledge. In today's Microsoft Excel VBA video, we are going to see that what is a select case statement and what is its usage in Microsoft Excel VBA. Now the first question is what is a select case statement? So a simple answer for it is it is a replacement for the if else statements. Uh, in the previous video, we saw these if else statements in which there was a bunch of conditions given to us and according to that, we wrote this much piece of code to execute those conditions. But with the help of the select case statements, this code could be drastically reduced. So that is the usage of the select case statement. It does the same work as the if else statements and it does the same work in a very few lines of code. So in this video, we are going to see each and everything about the select case statement. What is its syntax? What is its usage and everything with the help of an example? So the example that we have taken up is very simple. Uh, we are going to ask the user to input a number. And on the basis of that number, we are going to give the corresponding month name which means the user is bound to enter the uh, numbers between 1 to 12 and uh, on the basis of the numbers entered we are going to give an output like if the user has entered 4 we will give april as the output if it has entered 7 we would give july as the output and so on so this is what uh, we have taken up in mind and this is exactly what we are going to do with the help of the select case statements so let's uh, start on the left side of your screens, you can see that there is this Excel sheet open. Currently, we are in sheet four and uh, we are going to make some changes to it. So what I'm going to do is actually create a kind of a table in which there is a column called number and um, the other column is titled as month name. I want the user to enter the number in uh, the cell number B3 and uh, in the corresponding cell that is in cell C3, I want uh, to display the month name. So let's just change it into a table. Just select these four cells and press control T and uh, uh, actually make sure that um, you check on this my table has headers column and click on OK. And then in the design tab, go to table style options and make sure that you uncheck this filter button. So this is the table that I have got. And if you want, you can just go to the home tab to apply the borders to this table. So this is the appearance that I like. You can change its appearance, but that's not our point of concern right now. So let's begin with our coding part. So for this purpose, what we are going to do is uh, come back to our VBA editor. If you're not able to see that on your screen, you can go to your Excel sheet and press Alt F11 from your keyboard. And that would bring up this VBA editor. Now, once your VBA editor is up and running, you can go to the insert tab and insert a new module. In this module, we are first going to rename it to select case so that we are able to recognize that what this module is going to do. Now, what we are going to do is in the code pane, we have to create a sub procedure that is select cases or anything that you like then open and close the parenthesis and as soon as you press enter vb would automatically add n sub at the end which means that visual basically recognizes this as a valid sub procedure now once it has added uh, what we are going to do is begin our coding so first of all we need to uh, clear our thoughts on few things and one of them is that whatever data we are trying to get from the user is going to be an integer data because it is from 1 to 12 and that's the restriction we have imposed. But since that, uh, since the user is prone to make some errors, the user may also enter the textual data. So if we uh, take a data or a variable to store that data and if we specify its type as integer, and in case the user enters something that is non integer value, if the user enters any text, then we will get a runtime error, which is not advisable. And we have to actually um, try to handle those errors. So in this case, what we are going to do is declare a variable without any data type, which means the variable will be of range data type and whatever the um, data that the user enters would be 
valid for that particular variable so let's create a variable with dim keyword dim v and that's how we are going to create a variable that's it okay then in this variable v we want to store the value whatever the value we have of the cell b3 okay this is the value that we are going to store in this variable so we just type v equals uh, range using the range function and within parentheses and double quotes just write b3 dot value so whatever the value of b3 is would be stored in the variable v now why we are storing it in the variable v because whenever we are trying to use the select case statements we need to specify the uh, place from where the select case statement must take the value and it is always easier to use a variable instead of writing this whole statement we can simply write v to represent it and that's easier way of coding okay now once we have done this uh, what would this piece of code do is whatever the value of b3 is there would be stored in v okay now we want to access this uh, value so how can we access this to access this we need to use the select case statement and the syntax is you need to write a bunch of keywords like select put a space and write case and then again put a space now after this you need to write that particular variable whose value you want to use as the criteria in this case v then as soon as you press enter you can see that select and case both have been changed their colors to blue which means that these are the reserved keywords and vb recognizes them as such now what we are going to do is make sure to prevent any mistakes we are just going to use this end select line it is similar to the uh, next in the for loop and end if in the if else conditions uh, which means that it marks the end of the select case statement so we are just going to write it just now and this means that uh, we have defined this scope of the select case statement that is whatever the statements lie between these two lines would be inside the scope of the select case statements okay so that's the syntax for the select case statement and now let us just specify the cases now these cases are nothing but the values or the conditions that uh, must be met or uh, whatever cases you specify whenever that case is satisfied the statements corresponding to that case would be executed okay so how can you specify a case first of all a good programming practice is to use indents so let's just use a tab to add some indents and once you have added the indent you can just use a simple case keyword put a space and then you are supposed to write the value with which you want to compare it so since we are going with the months so 1 to 12 is the possible values that means we have to write 12 cases from 1 till 12 so first of all i'm going to write a case 1 which means if the user enters the value of v as 1 okay then put a um, colon and then put a space now after this you need to write whatever the statements you want to be executed if this condition is satisfied that is if the value of v is 1 so what do i want to write i want in the range or in the cell c3 to be shown that the number of the month that the user has entered is actually january so i would be writing this piece of code and when v or uh, when in the cell b3 the user enters 1 jan that is short form for january would be shown in the cell c3 that is meant by this code so this is a simple one line you can just uh, copy paste it again and again so i have written this all code so just copy it and paste it over here that's for the 12 case statements okay you can actually double indent it as well and uh, there is one more thing that is the case else statements and this case else would be executed if uh, there is no condition matching like if the user enters 13 or the user enters a negative number or any other number or uh, string data instead of for this then what would happen then the select case statement would go to invalid okay so that's how it works and let's just try to run it first of all we would give a valid output that is 8 and let's see what happens we run it and we get aug that is august over here which is perfectly fine now we are trying to giving uh, try to give an invalid output like i give 90 over here and let's use the step into function this time to see how it works uh we have got 
we it matches with each and every case it doesn't actually satisfied any case so it goes to case else and in the case else the statement is here and that's executed you get invalid as an output now the advantage over here is if we just try to write a b c d that's the output or that's the input that the user has given now if we try to run it we get nothing which means invalid would be the output that we'll be getting but if we would have just um taken v as an integer and in this case what would we get is a runtime error that's why we have not bound v uh, to any of the data types and we have keeping it as a general which means it would be uh, treated as a range variable so that if any other kind of the input we receive from a user then also we get invalid as the output so that is all for the select cases statements that you need to know in vba thanks for watching